Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, wherever you're looking. Today, I'm making this, trying to make this short video for uh, any of your figure or delicate, high quality figures, or even I don't know, I think even for statues, it will do the trick, or smaller figures. The video I'm making is for if you get uh, a collectible or any figure or something which has uh, a cigarette smell, tobacco smell in it. Oh man, that's the worst thing that can happen. And how to get rid of it? It really worked for me, so I hope it's gonna work for you guys as well. So, I just uh, bought this uh, Terminator figure from Interbay back from one of the collector. I sold uh, this uh, figure to him long time ago and I bought it back in a better price. And I was very happy because uh, this figure is Interbay Terminator clean version, but I had all the accessories of the battle damage with it. So I was very happy to get it back in a good price because this is like all in one Terminator. I can make him battle damage, clean, whatever I want, many accessories. But the point here is when I received it back, oh man, it smells like an ashtray. There was a lot of tobacco smell on it. So poo, what do I do now? Then I just uh, did a couple of tricks. I removed first of all everything with precaution so I'm not going to damage anything. And then what I did, I kept everything in dryer clothes and dryer clothes you can buy from a, any any supermarket or something uh, i bought the, the one from uh, the robin yeah you can buy any any of them so <clears throat> and then what i did i wrapped everything individually in it so like i used a couple of dry clothes for let's say this uh, this boot i put uh, one dry cloth inside couple of them wrapped on it and then i put them into these kind of ziploc bags yeah and airtight them and I did it for everything. You see these all small accessories, these bells, the flowers, and these boxes, and this, this. Even inside these rubbers, uh, the skin rubber, I put the dry clothes outside everywhere. And then I put them in a bag. So I didn't use one more dry clothes. I put them inside, outside, everywhere. So I used a lot of dry clothes, actually. And even for the pant, I used inside dry clothes. Yeah here upside under the belt around and i wrap wrap them and leave them into dry clothes for a couple of days for a week or two yeah and then i remove them smell a little bit was there for something especially for the leather and some of the plastic material and then what i did i took all these plastic parts all these plastic metal parts and i put uh, water in this uh, in this uh, small box and then I put like let's say a little uh, body wash, a soft, soft kind of uh, material, you know. So I put the uh, body uh, body wash, then I put like uh, shampoo, I mix them, couple of the detergents and stuff, yeah. And then uh, I put these all accessories inside the box, and I leave left them for a couple of days. I shake them, yeah. But there was a risk involved that I can lose the paint on these kind of accessories which has paint involved. Other accessories like black things don't have the paint. But I had to take the risk because the smell was bad. But luckily uh, nothing lost the paint so they are still fine. So I did it a couple of times with these things like maybe I left them for two days and then remove the water, clean it, then put again in, in, in the water with with the body wash and the shampoo or something but don't use hard soap then maybe you can lose the paint but that's the risk you have to take it yourself or, or only use the accessories it doesn't have the paint you know but the kind of paint companies use they don't come up uh, come out easily so most probably you'll be okay but that's something you have to do to yourself and these kind of plastic and metal accessories i left them in the water yeah with some soaps and other things like these kind of things, these kind of things, I keep, kept them again, again, again in the dry clothes. And I, I put them in these zip lock bags. And yeah, whew, after around one half or two months now, now there's no tobacco smell on these things. Amazing. But <laughs> now my figure smells like Robin, you know. <laughs> but it's a nice fragrance, at least it's a fragrance. So maybe that fragrance will go away. But uh, at least there's no tobacco smell on it, so I'm very happy. So if you keep doing this and you're not going to give up, uh, I think you can get rid of the smell from the leather and everything. Now so these accessories, they're very nice, yeah. And these I also washed because these are only clothes, yeah. And uh, I did again, again, I, 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 I had to make sure that no smell will be there because once I'm going to 
uh, gather it together I'm gonna assemble it again I don't want any smell again because removing these kind of delicate pieces again on the body is a bit risky well this original leather is not artificial leather this is artificial leather yeah but still you know you don't want to take the chance so I thought I'm gonna make this video oh yeah these are the dry clothes you see I use well this is the last one I have used many of them many many times even this bag has a lemon smell yeah well if you don't have this is okay but I was putting like like these all dry clothes were only for the pant yeah only for the pant so you have to use a lot and good amount put them inside outside all the angles and they're gonna go inside the DNA of the, <laughs> of the of the leather or the plastic yeah and then they can remove the tobacco smell it really worked for me but uh, it took around one and a half two months so yeah I hope it's gonna help somebody but don't give up and it will do the trick and enjoy guys I hope it's gonna work for you guys too thank you thank you bye bye